We're gonna run a giveaway before we hop into this one. As you guys know, on Monday of this week, or it was actually Sunday, we ran a Cyber Monday, Cyber Sunday sale, and I gave away 100 free fishing lures and two fishing reels. In today's video, we're running a YouTube giveaway, and I have another sale going on, but let me show you exactly what I'm giving away. So I have a jerk bait right here, a swim jig, a swim bait, and a pack of fishing worms. If you wanna enter this giveaway, all you have to do be subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell. Also, hit that like button on today's video. Drop some video ideas in the comment section down below and you're entered for a chance to win those baits right there. Remind me because next week I'm gonna announce the winner and then I'm gonna run another giveaway for you guys, probably even bigger and better. But also, if you guys wanna go over to kickingtheirbass.com, check out some of the merch. This is what we're gonna do. In the next three hours from when this video is posted, three hours, every hat order, I'm gonna actually give a free lanyard too. So within the next three hours, if you order a hat, it doesn't matter if it's this hat or the other Big Bass Energy hat, you will automatically get a free lanyard. In the first three hours though, you guys better check the clock, go on the website right now, you better hurry up while you can, kickingtheirbass.com. Thank you guys so much for repping the merch, everybody that supported me with the brand. It really helps with my traveling and gas money, and I just cannot thank you guys enough for that. We're gonna go ahead and hop into today's video. Me and Fletcher went out on the lake and we caught some pretty good fish. We had a great time. and. All on out, it was a fun video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Let's go ahead and hop into this one. Love you guys. All right, guys, we just made it out on the water. Ready to get it started today. I have a few poles that I wanna show you guys exactly what I'm throwing. It's actually pretty basic from some of the other poles from the other videos, but on this new mock crush, which is phenomenal. I wanted to show you guys this. Look at this, look how beautiful that paint job is on that reel and rod right there. It is a sweet looking combo, the brand new Mock Crush. I got a little Texas rig EWG hook lead weight. I have a crankbait on my Mock Smash. And then on my Mock 2 in Custom Pro, I have a chatterbait. This is like my favorite chatterbait combo right here. This is what I've been using for a while. And I have 17 pound fluorocarbon. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. I think I'm gonna start off with the chatter donk. There's a bridge up here that usually has a bunch of bait around it. And I'm gonna see if we can catch some on this. And uh, we'll switch up just according to how they're biting. And then uh, we might get on some offshore stuff in a little bit and throw that crankbait. So let's go ahead and get it started. It's gonna be a good day. Let's make it happen. First, I need a new trailer because that is not gonna work right there. There we go. All right, I'm ready, Fletcher. Ready to get after By the way, I have Fletcher with me. I don't know if I What's said that. On? I'm just getting carried away. I'm ready to cut. Oh my gosh, you scared me. You scared me. Let's get her started, man. Let's see how they're biting today. Earlier this morning, we actually filmed a bank fishing video and it was super cloudy out. And now, well, now the clouds just came back out. <laughs> uh, uh, on the drive here, it was sunny, I promise. But <laughs> Yeah, it's, it was cloudy, then it was sunny. It was rainy, it was cloudy, and then it was sunny, and now it is cloudy again. So, might catch some of these bass roaming right now. <laughs> yeah, the weather's been just so weird, changing every two seconds, but I guess we're gonna see how they bite today. Check around this chatter dock by this bridge, see if there's some fish that I wanna munch. I like the wind's picking up a little bit too. Might help, help out that bite. Been dead calm recently. The old crankbait. Did you really? Well, if that bite's gonna be that crazy, then I'm just gonna hop into it. Fletcher's first cast on the crankbait out here. It's usually a bunch of bait fish right out here in the middle. <laughs> you ready to get on a crazy crank bite? I hope we get them fired up. Start catching doubles. Yeah, that 14's not gonna do it in here. In that other lake we were in, it would work, but not on this spot. What are you gonna cut off that 10? Yeah, I'm gonna take the 10 off. I'm gonna put this, uh, this one that's like seven. Okay. You know what? Let's try it. This is kind of wacky, and it might be the juice lure today. I'm gonna throw two different colors if one of us starts <laughs> exactly. getting more than the other. It's the advantage of fishing with two people to figure out the fish oh. twice as fast. Yep. So guys, uh, I talk about it a lot here in the fall time. I like using my natural colors, but I also love throwing something that's just out there because this is how you got to think about it. I've, I've said this in my videos a lot. You know, traditionally in the fall time, people are going to start throwing their natural colors and you got to think about it this way. The bass might always see that natural color and then you might throw something that's completely opposite to everybody else and you might get a lot of bites, especially at a pressured area that people fish a lot. So. 
We're gonna tie this on. Fletcher's throwing a natural. I'm gonna throw this just wacky chartreuse blue looking one. And uh, who knows, it might just do the trick. You just gotta try new things. And uh, if we're not getting bites on it, we'll throw something else, but let's get to casting. You said this one dies what? Seven. Seven? Should be perfect. perfect. Yeah. Hopefully we will get on a crazy cast after cast crankbait bite today. Once we fire them up, I feel like it'll be good. If they're here, I might have to go hunt for them. Try out there in the middle too, where they. Oh, he's right there. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yo. So. Yeah, dude. On the juice <laughs> color. On the. Oh. <laughs> Take long. What, what, what about that, Fletcher? Look at that. Let's go. All right, now you got to double up. Yeah, crankbait. <laughs> Say that again? No. no. About a seven foot diver. Foot. Look at that. It's about a three pounder. Got him in the face. Which concerns me about this color, but at the same time. They gonna eat it. They gonna eat it. I'm so sorry, buddy. Let me get you off of here. Yeah. Dude, that's a good fish. <laughs> you got it right there in the gill plate. I got you, buddy. Thank you for biting, though. We're going to get you right back in the water. We're not going to hurt you. We're not going to do anything. I'm just get this hook out real quick, and you'll be swimming off. Thank you so much, though. That's a good first fish, is it not? I'll take that all day. Look at that. That's almost a three-pounder with how long he is. just He's thick, too. He just yeah. doesn't have, like, a pot belly. You yeah. Know? <laughs> that's a high two right there. I promise you that. Heck yeah. Caught one fish in 10 minutes. That's pretty good. We, just gotta, we might need to stay off of it just a little bit. Or maybe we need to throw out in the middle. Because I remember that one day they were stacked out here really good. Mm -hmm. Did he come off that fountain right there? Or? Yeah, he did. He was about five foot to the, to the right of that fountain. Dude, that is like the fifth time I've seen that right there. There's a lot of bait fish popping right here on this corner. Yeah, there, that was More. Like any bait, yeah. Oh gosh, Fletcher. Holy shit. Dude, you should have felt that bite. Like that bite was stupid. Makes me think they don't want this color, but I'm gonna keep throwing it. Course, right? <laughs> Hot start here. I'll switch up to a chatter dunk. Propose something a little bit different. Oh, yeah. On the chatter bait, about threw myself in the water right there. I'm just nibbling on the end of it. There's biting weird. Maybe that spot over there by the... Dude, look at the boils right there. There's some fish right there. It's gotta be. I don't think that's a turtle. There is. Freaking biggin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's bass boiling right there. You see the other boil? Double up with me, homie. This fish fighting hard as can be. I think yeah, it's only a good one, dude. It's like three pounds. Uh, oh. it's two pounds. Two number. It looks a lot bigger out there. <laughs> he did, didn't he? It's a there. fat two pounder. He, he's got a one pound body, but with how fat he is, he's <laughs> definitely up there. I threw my crankbait around there a lot, guys. Didn't have that bite and picked up my chatter donk. That's a beautiful yeah, little we chunk. We whacked on the chatterbait earlier today. Maybe that just moved. Yeah, they love that chatterbait. We saw multiple boils and we didn't know if it was a dang turtle or what it was because earlier I was like, oh, look at that. There's bait and it ended up being a turtle. I promise you there's more fish here. I threw a cast before that, had one bite me, threw back in there, caught that. It's a good little sign. All right, guys, that's two fish in the boat right now. And I'm just throwing this chatterbait, like I said earlier, just white and chartreuse. I've caught one fish on a crankbait, one on the chatterbait. Now we're just gonna skip. Uh, gotta love it. <laughs> we're just gonna skip under some of these trees and work up to this bridge. And uh, once we go into the open part of this lake, probably gonna pick up them crankbaits and try to fire this fish off offshore. 
I think that's gonna be the best bite today where me and Fletcher are both pick up that crankbait and it's just, just one, after another. <laughs> one after another and we have a good time doing that. If you can fire them up, that's some of the most fun. But for the time being, we're gonna see if we can pick up maybe a big one under one of yeah, these trees. Maybe this so. is a, a way for a big bite. That's a big one, dude. What? I watched that. He's skinny, but he's got a huge head. The second one, the second one. Dude, yo, that's a good fish. That is a really good fish on the chatterbait right there. He ate it on the fall, dude. I had like a little bit of a backlash. Look at that, dude. Right that could be a four pounder, and it's like two and a half without skinny. Know, he's got a giant head on him, but he's just dude, look at that. That's a five pounder. So skinny. What? He's so. That's skinny. depressing. And he's got a soft plastic in his mouth. Does he? Yeah, look at that. Maybe that's what's wrong with him, man. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty Ew. old soft plastic. <laughs> Shoot, I mean. Dude, look at that. That should be a five pounder. I don't understand why that fish this is. This could be a really Put it on the scale. I promise you that fish is two and I a quarter. I bet you he doesn't weigh anything. He's, I mean, he's a stick. Dude, he's that stick. fish it should be four pounds, every bit of it. But he's going to be two and a half. Watch. If that. It's two and a half. It's somewhere it's around 212. there. 212. But Two and three quarters? Yeah, it's 212. Honestly, it weighed more than I thought it did, but just a gross, not that healthy fish right there. Yeah, like I looked up and I kind of saw, you know how they dive over it? Yeah. I kind of saw that. I was like, what in the world? I pick up this crankbait because just about every loon in town is over here munching on bait fish. I can see the bait fish coming out of the top right there. Something just splashed over there. I don't even know what that was, but. Bait's here. I'm gonna throw this crankbait for a minute and I might put back on a 10, a ten footer. Yeah. Hey Fletcher. You on? I didn't take off? He came off and that was a dang good one it's on. They're not eating that color right. Time okay. to crank. Time to crank. Time to crank. Time to crank. Man. I actually felt like a moose so I'm not gonna lie. Really? This set up. Yeah we got one over there. Um, over there off the dock, they were schooling up on some shad and, um, oh, oh, nope, just kidding. That's good. <laughs> that was actually hilarious. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> that was so funny. The moment, the moment you hook that tree and he realized there was a tree, he turned around like he didn't even talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I felt some secondhand embarrassment on that one. That was like shit. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a, it's a tree. <laughs> That's amazing. It's time. I'm ready for the SmackDown. I'm not talking about one here and there, Fletcher. I'm talking about the SmackDown. I'm talking about two or three double ups in a row. Like. I want us to fire them up so good that they just can't resist. There he is. You on? Yep. Yes, sir. That's what I like to see. He actually ate it. That is the first one that's ate it. Look. Oh yeah, he ate it. He ate like it. actually ate it. That's the first one I've seen do that in days. Look at that. Choked it. Pretty colors on that. The best. You have them pliers up there. Again. You know, the other day I was like, I, I wish they choke it, but honestly, I'd rather them not, so it's not that hard to get the hook out. The only time you want them to choke it when it's a giant, <laughs> they don't throw it. Facts. <laughs> that's a small one. Oh, uh, you're you're going? I was gonna say that's a yeah. I do have one. I mean, I finally got it out of his mouth. Oh, that's a better one. Is it one is the opposite of chokes. This one is barely on there. Oh, that's two pounder though. <laughs> yeah, All right, I'm gonna just release mine. That's a double up. That is it's a, a double, double up. up. I'm, you, you guys witnessing it? He's barely. Up. So throw him He's back. Got one trip on the oh, okay. Quick release. That's fine. You got a big one? I don't know, but it's tight. Yeah. I yeah. That. He's small. Is that your first one or did you cut? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> that was awesome. You got it? You need some pliers? Here, go over to him. I'll help him. I can help you get it out. I'll see it for you. 
That's a good one, though. Yeah, yeah that's a really good one. I'm gonna have to rip your worm off. It's alright. Y'all caught any more? Yeah, we caught a few. Seven. <laughs> see how I took it out, you can see it now. I'm gonna go behind his gills. Yeah. I should be able to. This is kicking their bass TV. Mine's uh, Fletcher Fisherman. Yeah. I, I honestly think I've heard of kicking bass TV. Have you? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Probably a pretty good chance of that if you're into fishing. <laughs> you wanna take a picture with it? No, nah, bro. Get one on it? You sure? Nah. Put it back in. I'm about to win the pickle. I know. We just get like a 10 mile per hour. There he is. Can't tell if he's big. It's not big, but it sure felt big. <laughs> Sometimes they get it. They get it weird. See how he got it? So we've been talking about it. They haven't been eating it except for that last fish the last couple of days. And you can tell he just wiped at it. That's how the first one was and they get it in their face and it's it's cool because they're easy to get off the hook but when you hook a big one and it's in the side of his head like that they use that weight and momentum will come up to the top of the water and spit it switch over to that natural color looks like a good little fat guy man look how chunky he is you can tell he's been eating a bunch of bait fish i was about to say if he had some shad in his mouth pretty dude pretty colors get him back in and see if we can fire some up that's the problem is recently, you know, you get on that crankbait bite and you just fire them up and you keep on catching them. Today is different. You know, we've kind of had, we had one double up. Rather than that, it's kind of been a bite here, a bite there. So we're gonna see if we can fire them up down this lane. Alrighty, caught that fish right down this lane. It's actually where I missed that fish earlier, or didn't miss him, but he came off and it felt like a big one. Might be some more stacked up down there. All right guys, we're gonna head to a new spot. Actually throwing out the crankbaits for an old troll. If you've seen in the recent videos, I've, we've got a few fish doing it, so it would not surprise me right now. As good as they've been roaming and eating this bait and chasing these crankbaits, you know, it will not surprise me if we catch one in a second troll in this. <laughs> so we just traveled across the lake and we're gonna hit this spot where it's a big flat and uh, it's actually pretty shallow. So I don't want to throw that and I don't want to throw the Sherbert crankbait just because I think they're scared of the old Sherb. This one looks like the little bait fish. I'm trying to match what you showed me in that fish's mouth earlier. We have had days on this spot, guys, that are undescribable. Like there would be so many bass stacked up that we're just throwing cast after cast after cast. And it's like that today. We're about to experience something crazy, but I don't know. Oh, oh, Becky. You got one. Becky. Oh, she's a big one. Is she? <laughs> no. <laughs> she's hooked like a, why are, can I just like, I really want to pull up every fish clip on a crankbait in the last couple of days. Everyone's had the bait on the outside of their mouth. Everyone has been hooked identically. Like exactly how this fish is hooked, except for that one earlier. I mean, like I said, I'm not complaining because I realized how much easier it is once I had to take that choked one off, but. <laughs> Uh-oh. You want Yes, I am. A little tiny titty. <laughs> yeah, titty and guess work. what, Fletcher? <laughs> He's hooked answer. the same way. I don't think that guy could get it in his mouth. Okay. <laughs> These are the ones that I have learned that, listen, you don't want to mess with. <laughs> Thank you.